I had a little time to clean my other tank, but I wanted to talk now about what's happening in this Shell Dweller tank. Monday, which was uh, today's Thursday, I went and I got... I found some uh, shells at a local arts and crafts store. And I I found a bunch of them. I had to sort through them and get some ones that were worthwhile. But I got a bunch more in here. Now there's a total of 12. Uh, so that's four per fish. And the two larger fish, which I'll notice both have birth defects, which I'll talk about a little later. But now um, they're both really establishing territories. I kind of tried to segregate. I put three total shells up on this balcony. You can see them right now. Look, they're fighting over that. They're fighting over it. Uh. Fighting over that shit. It's crazy. I like it. Um. But the one that was mainly living down here with the smaller one has taken up, like, pure dominance of this balcony. It's got three shells, uh, like a little rocky alcove and crevice with java moss on both sides. And, and he's really, like... He's he's taken that and he's defending it even against the most dominant one in the tank, and he's been running them off. And the one that was living on this side of the tank in this area, um, still kind of living there, but they're battling up here. And then the other one is uh, just kind of cruising around in between, being uh, well, she's a little bitch, dude, basically. So, but what I want to also talk about is the birth defects that I've noticed in these fish and what I'm thinking is that they're inbred um, and I'll talk, probably talk about that in a different video and this iPod sucks but basically two out of three of these fish the two larger ones they both have like deformities one of them has not only his uh... okay this one I don't know if you can see it it's got a his gill plate on the left side of his face it's all mangled and it's like extended out sideways. It's like it's almost it looks like he was either injured when he was like being netted and I didn't notice it and it healed all messed up, or he's just got a like a birth defect in his jaw. Um, and it's hard to tell with this iPod. I can't really zoom very well. But like basically, he's got like a crazy like like a broken like jaw with a weird side growth on it, and he's also pretty much dominating this little crevice here up top you can see he's planted and he's dwelling there and he's planted dwelling in his shell and I know uh, Mr. MRI backup Cole Longo was saying he didn't see any shell dwelling activity well now they're kinda doing it so there you go dude he's just posted he's got all three of those shells now and since he's got his gnarly like fucked up face I'm gonna call him Scarface and where'd the other ones go? You know what? I scared the other ones. Fuck. The other little bitch just fucking went wherever. And then that one's still living down there. But his, his defect, I'll say, is like, not only is his spine malformed, he's kind of got like a hunchback, but then also, it'd be, it'd be great if he came out, but I think I scared him. Um, it's like he's got... Like, his face is, is puckered to one side. Like, his mouth and stuff. It's really weird looking. Like, when you you can only tell up close. It took me a couple days to, to really notice on both these fish. They're kind of a little mangled. But, um, I like it. They got some, some personality to them and character. And I'm cool with that shit. But, let that be a lesson. Um, I think with inbreeding on, on these captive species... Um, which can happen pretty easily because anything that you buy from a store is probably like a brother and sister. So any mating that occurs from there is very likely like an inbreeding thing and you could eventually through, you know, genetic whatever, mutation, get some weird little side effects in some of your fish. The other one, the little one is fine it seems like. Um, but I'm going to call this guy Scarface and the other one Hair Lip. Because he's pretty much got a hair lip, which is awesome. But that's what's up with this tank. Going to clean it tomorrow. Got all, I got some of this weird hair algae growing off the background. 
and some some other little algae i'm liking it i think i'm gonna leave it and just kind of let that thing grow in have all kinds of stuff growing off of it in there i think that would look sick so the shell dweller tank more shells more actual shell dwelling activity before I scared them off, they were totally battling, and that's kind of what I wanted to shoot, but I scared them off when I got all close. So I'll catch them later battling, but that's what's up with this tank, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.